What's happening with NEO stock? Hey guys, welcome back to Stacking Stocks, and thank you so very much for joining us today. As usual, we're bringing you interesting and informational content. We're thrilled to bring you more exciting content. Are you ready for today's session? Can you guess the headlines today? Today, we'll talk about a stock that's not talked about that much. Have you heard of NEO stock? Do you know what it's faring in the stock market? Don't despair, we'll find out shortly. But before we commence today's session, let's quickly recap the highlights of our previous session. In our last session, we highlighted Ethereum's domination in some of the key metrics of the crypto market. Furthermore, we also discussed Ethereum's plan to go green by 2022. Did you miss our previous session? To find out more about Ethereum, please revisit our last session. Now let's get into today's topic. In today's session, we'll find out what's happening with NEO stock. Is NEO stock a buy right now? Do you think it's time to consider adding NEO stock to your investment portfolio? China's NIO, or NIO on the ticker, continues to see strong demand for its luxury electric SUVs so far in 2021 while innovating battery technology and expanding its lineup of electric cars. Do you know the trading value of NIO stock in the stock market? Here's what we have for you. NIO stocks rose to fresh four-day highs of $39.61 on Tuesday before reversing some gains to finish at $38.94 still adding 2.02% on the day. Over the last three straight trading days, NEO share prices have gained nearly 7%. Buying resurgence in the U.S.-listed Chinese stocks lifted the sentiment around the Chinese electric vehicle maker NEO. Meanwhile, fresh record highs on the broader indices also collaborated with its recent recovery momentum. NEO rebounded as it started the week, while investors shrugged off the recent driver-assist system fatality that caused the stock to tumble last week. Other good news had China stocks rallying, including the first day since July in which no new cases of COVID-19 were reported in the country. Shares of NEO gained 3.39% to close the trading session at $38.17. The markets rebounded to start the week as the Nasdaq and S&P 500 hit new all-time highs on the strength of tech sectors, particularly chip makers like AMD and NVIDIA. What does this mean for NEO stock investors? Is it time for NEO stock investors to be optimistic about their investment? The figures are promising a bright future. But is it time for more investors to consider NEO stock? For starters, let's find out how NEO stock has managed to come on the stock market scene since its inauguration in 2014. NEO had little experience in vehicle manufacturing when the company first hit the car making scene. When did you first hear about this vehicle manufacturer? Did you find out about it just now? Well, luckily for you, we're always here to support you. Now, let's get back to the topic. Do you know that NEO does not make its own electric cars? The company partnered with a state-owned auto manufacturer. After coming back from the brink of bankruptcy last year, NEO continues to grow EV sales after more than doubling them in 2020. However, NEO faces increasing competition from Chinese tech and auto giants. We're talking about competitors other than Tesla, which is the leading electric car maker in the world. Do you think electric vehicles are the future of the auto manufacturing industry? Fully electric and hybrid vehicles are tipped to constitute 90% of new car sales in China, up from the 10% in March of 2021. What does this mean for the electric vehicle manufacturing sector? It means that we should expect the industry to grow to greater heights. NIO revealed in their August 11th earnings release their plans for three new EVs in 2022, including the ET7, its first electric sedan. The hot EV startup already makes three electric SUVs. How do you think the stock is faring on key earnings and other fundamental metrics? Well, we have to be honest about this. This is a young and fast-growing company that's looking to turn a profit. We really don't expect it to be up there with the global electric vehicle leader, Tesla. Let's give the company time to grow. We've already seen that the company is promising in terms of growth and expansion. If you're an active and serious stock market investor, NEO should be on your watch list. Anyway, let's look at NEO's earnings and other key metrics. Here's what we have for you. NEO stock earns an EPS rating of 47 out of 99 and an SMR rating of D on a scale of A plus to the worst, which is E. The EPS rating compares a company's earnings growth versus other companies. The SMR rating measures sales growth, profit margins, and return on equity. In July, NEO's EV sales more than doubled year over year, but they fell 25% month over month. Tesla launched a cheaper version of the Model Y in China last month, 
Neo also faces competition from rival EV startups Li Auto and Xpeng, which outsold Neo in July. Earlier, Neo more than doubled quarter two EV sales despite the chip shortage. On August 11th, Neo delivered a narrower than expected loss for the second quarter. Neo lost three cents a share despite revenue soaring 145% to $1.31 billion. Inasmuch as the earning metrics by Neo is somehow disappointing, the company is set to push its revenues higher with three new products. Do you think launching new products is a solution to poor sales? Well, maybe the market is not impressed by the company's current products, thus the need to launch new products. What would you do if you were Neo's chief executive officer? Here's what the company's CEO, William Bing Lee, had to say about launching new products. As the EV adoption begins to reach a tipping point worldwide, we believe it's imperative to speed up the launch of new products. A new mass market brand is coming. While the global supply chain still faces uncertainties, we have been working closely with our partners to improve the overall supply chain production capacity. Encouraged by the growing user demand, we remain committed to further expanding our power network, increasing our service and sales coverage, and more importantly, accelerating our product and technology development. We delivered 21,896 vehicles in the second quarter, a 112% increase from the second quarter of 2020 and a 9.2% rise from the first quarter of 2021. The second quarter deliveries were a record for the company. In the second half of 2021, NEO seeks to increase monthly production to 10,000 EVs. It expects to reach 150,000 units per year by the first quarter of 2022. Currently, it's limited to 7,500 units per month due to the chip shortage. As you've seen, NEO is seeking to improve their sales. We don't know how the market will receive their new products. However, what we do know is that expansion and launching new products are some of the best ways to improve a company's revenue. And what does that mean for stock investors? If you're a NEO stock investor, it means more stock dividends for you. Are you excited about that news? Well, don't get too comfortable yet. Let's see if it's time to buy NEO stock. After debt and liquidity fears slammed the company's shares, we've witnessed NEO's financial condition improve tremendously. Are those good signs for stock market investors? Well, NEO has significantly paired losses while delivering huge top line gains. Does this mean that it's time to start considering buying NEO stock? Its expanding vehicle lineup, entry into Europe, and battery innovations mean more runways for growth. However, the electric vehicle wars are heating up as legacy auto and tech giants ramp up or get into the game. In the near term, the chip supply crunch is a headwind for automakers. Longer term, battery supplies could be an even bigger headache for EV stocks at large. What then is our conclusion on the matter? Well, NEO stock remains in a bear market amid intensifying competition and China's tech crackdown. Its RS line is lagging. Nonetheless, we still can't belittle the company's efforts to grow and improve revenues even further. Even though it's still lagging, NEO stock is exhibiting optimistic potential. Whether or not you should buy it now depends on your reaction to today's session. Anyway, keep on checking for updates from us. That's the end of our session today. Once again, many thanks for joining us today here on Stacking Stocks. Now, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Remember to also hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank <music> you.